I'm Elaine Mears, I'm a textile artist. My arts practice will be very much socially engaged arts or community arts. I don't know, I always have to feel like it's actually meaningful in terms of people's lives. I really love hearing different people's stories, the stories that you don't hear in kind of the main narrative of history. Memories is, it's a tapestry for the senses. It's a response to the question, if you could only keep one object, what would you keep? and why. It's really a way of asking what is the most important thing in your life. But if I was to ask anyone that question, sometimes it's like being a rabbit in the headlights. Whereas if you yeah, come about it kind of sideways, like through, well, what's the object that you hold dear? You, you kind of get at that. The recordings in the piece, they're from uh, Castlebar Social Services, a daycare service. Uh, we went in there over a few days and we recorded the different stories with the service users. And it's a textile response to it. We took snippets of the stories and, you know, the way that people describe their precious object. And yeah, we, we wrote them into the fabric. Uh, worked in different ways through natural fabric dyeing methods, sewing, rust dyeing, embroidery, and then it has all of the music composition with it and the stories and recordings of people's voices. So myself, Marie Murray and Deirdre Kennedy. So it was the three of us who worked on all the textile aspect of the piece and then Sean composed the music and did the sound recordings. When I was coming home to get married, she gave me a canteen of country wine. That is mine. Mine. Once it was actually up, I realised that it just had a huge connection to grief and bereavement and loss. People really connected with that. Um, and a lot of people who came to it actually requested, could they come and do a workshop and could they create something that signifies their precious object? We started off by going in and looking at the exhibition and then we worked with everyone individually to kind of try and draw their image out. We did a lot of printing, showing different forms of making fabric, of making images, adding different things to that kind of textile landscape. You have the room to experiment. You have the room to try things. And especially with fabric, you're constantly moving it around. It's given it. People can come in and try things and not be afraid that they're going to break something or be too precious about things. When we embarked on this project, I didn't know what the outcome was going to be. I had an idea of what I wanted the feeling to be. And I think that's the important thing. Sometimes what happens with bereavement and grief is that the loss happens. And then after a certain length of time, people feel that they can't bring it up anymore, it'd be awkward to talk about it. I think most people, we just want to form connection. We want real connection with people. And I don't think it's hard to talk about really. I think it's natural to us and we just need to give it the space. And I think in an environment like this, a creative environment, it's much easier to talk about things. And I was, I have to say, so moved by the generosity and openness of people who gave us their stories.